Hi everyone, Scott on Brown here to discuss the recent name change involving Root Sports Pittsburgh as well as three other regional Root Sports channels. Now, as some of you may know by now, AT&T and the AT&T Sports Networks Division have decided to rename all of their Root Sports channels with the exception of Root Sports Northwest to AT&T Sportsnet. Now, even though I'm not really pleased with the name change, I have to say that I'm not surprised about it either because I had a feeling that the name Root Sports wasn't going to last long anyways ever since AT&T took over DirecTV two years ago and with it um, most of the sports networks that they owned. Though, um, I think it was a matter of time before that was going to happen. Now, um, the networks included in this name change are Root Sports Pittsburgh, Root Sports Southwest, Root Sports Rocky Mountain, and Root Sports Utah. While uh, the Root Sports name will be retained in the Northwest region, most likely to avoid, to avoid confusion with a Comcast branded network down there. Of course, the Comcast owned sports channels are branded also under the Sportsnet branding under their own branding. You know, when I commented about the Root Sports name years ago when it uh, first came out, I didn't like the name at first because I thought maybe it was a generic name for a group of regional sports networks. But over the years, I started to adjust the name mainly because the name Root Sports meant that sports fans like yours truly had a place to root for their respective home teams. And, for example, I had a place where I could root for my Pittsburgh Penguins. And the reason I don't like the name at t Sportsnet is because I feel as if they're going to use that name as a marketing tool to promote at t products and services, including DirecTV. Now, I know you... I know there's some sports networks that are part of Comcast as well as the Spectrum Sports Channels. Uh, of course, that's Spectrum Cable, part of uh, Charter Communications. And there's also Rogers Sportsnet based off of the communications company under the same name. That, of course, is in Canada. But I think renaming the Root Sports Channels under the at t name just doesn't make sense because I don't think the at t name fits into the sports category whatsoever. I don't think it ever has fit into the regional sports category. Now, most of us sports fans that live in either Pennsylvania, the Southwest, and the Rocky Mountain states will soon have to get used to calling them at t branded sports channels. Or should I say at t sports net? I guess you could put it that way. And I can tell you guys right now that I don't like it because I honestly think they should have kept the, you know, the Root Sports name and, you know, not branded as a company that's going to, like, use it as a marketing tool. So, yeah, that's my opinion on that. Anyway, um, I would love to see your comments. I appreciate if you could comment on this by uh, going to the comment section and let me know what you think. All right, uh, thank you very much for watching, of course. Let's go pens.